a lot of money myself. So I need for you to be in a, ew, I am not dating Nate Robinson. Please stop. Don't think you know my life. And not at all. Never even met that man. Thank you. But he cool. Um, wasn't the one that got into the boxing match. Okay. Um, but no, no, don't do it. Cause I would definitely say if I was, no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, threw me off. Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> y'all know y'all niggas be trying it. <laughs> Like April dating this person and April over here. I swear to God. Who else I'm dating? Hmm? Who else I'm with? Better yet, let's just, because y'all know y'all y'all asses. Now, you don't have to be dating them, bitch. You are fucking them, April. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, who am I fucking? Because y'all know y'all be trying it. Y'all know y'all try it. Lord, can't live. Yes, homie hopper, cool. That's fine. Take it. <laughs> what's worse? What's 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 you know? Come on, who gives a fuck? So what? Oh my God. Yes, hop 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 skip skip jump. <laughs> um. Oh man, guys. Yes, life is to be lived. I'm reading your comments. I'm trying. I guess I suppose everybody. Someone said everybody. I'll take that. Who gives a fuck? Even if it was everybody, who would really care? <laughs> if I don't care, why would you? You know, I saw something that said like, damn, like, I'm not even worried about my own business, but you are. So how can you be, if you worried about my business, how could you even be worried about yours? You got to put that energy into yourself. Oh my goodness, guys. I am not about to be Michael Jordan. He is not my type. So no, thank you. Absolutely not. And and congratulations to them. They look beautiful. I feel like when you guys go look at their pictures, oh my goodness, they look exactly the same. They look, they have like the same sort of face, Lori and uh, Michael B. They're so cute. Um, yeah, I'm just reading these comments. Okay. Okay. Whoever hits. Okay. Who cares? Who cares? We went through this before when I was patting on my pussy on my IG live and went through this when I was being sarcastic and I said that I fucked all these people. Who cares if I did and who cares if I didn't? Who cares? So what? If I did, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. And it don't matter because my vagina is on my body. And who cares? So what? I don't I don't understand what the problem would be with fucking. You know fucking releases toxins out of the body fucking relieves stress fucking allows the pussy wall to retain lubrication and moisturization because you're fucking consistently and it allows the coochie to be a fucking bomb ass cooch i know i'm not turning actually this is just me i wish i was turned um but fucking is you know it's 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 really healthy guys so um who really cares you know you guys ask me about my skin and why i have a glow i mean fucking <laughs> you know you ask me about why my hair is growing fucking <laughs> um you know let's just let's put the energy there okay <clears throat> cool And you sound you sound dumb. And and obviously, I don't care to be the baddest. There are so many beautiful women out here. I don't care to be the smartest and I don't care to be the baddest. I care to be me. Thank you, sir. Okay? Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. <laughs> the fuck? Um, and that's the problem with you people. It's like, oh my God, stop comparing yourselves to others and stop thinking that people are supposed to all be the same. Nobody wants to be other people. No. Because I am the shit <laughs> in real life to myself. Aren't you? Don't you feel like you're the shit? You should have the level of confidence where you're like, you know what? I know I'm the shit and I'm everything. Like, that's just what I feel. And I don't have to be the baddest thing walking. And I don't have to be the most flyest bitch. I don't have to have the most expensive things. I don't have to be any of that. But I know that I'm the bombest bitch ever. 
I do. That's just how I feel about myself. And so at the end of the day, why don't you start being more confident about yourself and stop hating on a bitch who loves who the fuck she is from the inside the fuck out and who loves her flaws and all. How about you go to your life and start alive and go preach about what you don't like about yourself and leave me the fuck be because, you know, you cannot steer me away from loving who the fuck I am. I really do love me. I really the fuck do. Anyone that really encounters me loves me. Let's just be fully the fuck honest about it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Let's just be fully honest. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, guys. You read a lot of stuff in the tabloids. You see a lot of things that you think you know, and you have no fucking clue. And this is the problem with the world. And honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I used to be that person that when I was not on the inside, but I was on the outside looking in, I used to think the same shit. And I honestly feel like, damn, like, woo. But like being on the inside and going through it and then dealing with someone and it being like public knowledge and news and then like the woman having to protect and then like what you're dealing with, but you're a solid ass bitch. So you just kind of keep it in. You don't tell people shit and you just and regardless, I'll, I'll still keep it in because it is what it is. And it's my truth. It's no one else's truth and no one does have to know. But it's just quite interesting how the world works and how people work. And you just you just like for me, I'm, I just be sitting back thinking, God, like I am so grateful to the Lord to be who I am and to sit in my truth and to know who I am. And to be a really good human and like I be like literally in my car just giving glory to God because it's too many of these motherfuckers out here that y'all praising and loving and worshiping and putting y'all all into because of fucking perception. And you have no fucking clue how nasty these people are. No, nothing didn't happen. I'm just like breaking it down about what you guys think or your perception of people and who you guys think you love and what someone has created for you because of PR stunts and you know, what real, like, what's really happening out here. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't ever get it twisted. Trust in the fuck believe. And the truth comes out and it prevails. It always does. It's called timing and it's called patience. So for the ones that's out here lying and for the ones that's out here, you know, you think that it's glory all now. That shit comes to bite you back in the ass. And, um, you know, you just got to smile about that. You know, you just got to. I know my shaver. I don't know what happens in my hand. You got to really laugh about shit like that. Because when you a real one and the world may hate you and the world might think that, you know, you ain't shit. It's like it don't matter because I, you know you the shit. But you know what ain't the shit. And you just waiting for the shit to just be clear as day, you know. Um, so you just got to, you just got to like, just, you just got to praise God. You got to give it up to the Lord. <laughs> no, you got to give it up to God. God is, God is good. <gasps> All the time, he is. I'm telling you. You know? Am I going to shave my cooter? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I actually like hair down there. It's a jungle. You got to soar. Got to find your way. It's a maze. You can't, can't make this easy for you, fellas. Got to jump in that joint and just pull the pieces apart. Okay? Cool. So, no, to answer your question, I'm not shaving my cooter. My cooter is looks like this. Okay, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> that's what it's going to stay like. It's COVID-19, people. All right. If y'all doing all this extra shit during COVID-19, bruh, it's too much. <clears throat> Enter the jungle. And plus on top of that, can I be honest with you? I feel like coochies that have no hair on them. I'm so sorry. I'm not attracted to those kind of coochies because genuinely I feel like they look like little baby coochies and I feel like I'm just not with the baby, the JJs. That's just what I see. That's my perception of them. Now, granted, there's some guys who don't like hair on their women's vaginas at all. To each is their own. It's like women who like men with bald heads. I get that. I I get that. But at the same time, I I don't know. You got to have a little hair down there for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've met men that have shaved their hair down there for sure. And I'm like, ooh, this ain't it. This is a questionable thing. Ladies, what do you think about men that shave their pubes? Is that like a gay thing or is that like a normal thing? Or fellas, you tell me what that is. 
huh. Because I had someone that was shaving that thing down there. And I'm like, man, is a man supposed to do that? Hmm. Huh. It's just a question. I just didn't want to assume. You shaved your thing, Lex. Is that a man? <clears throat> okay, everybody's saying no. It's normal. So it's normal for men to shave down there. Okay. Okay, some people saying it's gay. So see, that's what I'm saying. To each is their own. Perception is it's just it's a prime example of perception. It's perception. That's what I'm saying. Like, what makes your like what makes your perception truth? It's your truth, but is it someone else's truth? And that just goes to show you, like, when you just disagree or agree or not agree, everybody's just different. So just teaches you to just understand people and love people because not everybody is the fucking same none of us are the same to be perfectly the fuck honest we're like all fucking different pieces of the puzzle it makes no sense so you put that shit together then it's like okay got it cool um all right cool what's cool to know all right i got that if you don't know what i'm talking about i don't have to explain it you must have came in here late but I'm talking about vaginas and coochies, okay? And I'm talking about, I mean, I just said the same thing. Vaginas and penises. And I'm talking about hair and uh, shaving and stuff, okay? <clears throat> yes, this is my hair. It's long. Yep, it grew. <clears throat> Interesting. Ah, Danielle, ah, ha, ha. Uh, almost I gotta keep it fresh that is funny I shave cause my bra likes to eat it all with no hair in the way you know what well you know if she down there eating the booty and all that then you definitely no 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 so I get it pregnant for the past three years and i've not been pregnant so i don't know where that's coming from guys it was only one person who said it in here but let's just make it clear oh god lord we still on the pregnancy Woo! i'm pregnant okay i'll take it i guess whatever um <clears throat> crazy you know they're crazy <laughs> um well, damn, if you can floss your teeth with her vag hair, then her hair must be real thick down there, sir. So, yeah, in that case, in that regard, you might want to shave it and laser it. Then it makes sense, you know. Um, I only have as many kids as I've had before. Just two. Same baby daddy and everything. Yep, just two. Uh, and I don't plan on having any more kids. This coochie is shut down from the kid department, but it is still open for pleasure. <laughs> Going once, twice. Bam, bam. Okay. All right. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. Because y'all know I'm retarded and I'm funny. And I'm stupid as fuck. So. Hey, just sending you some love from London. Is she not pregnant? Did you see her? Yes. Did you see her body? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> no. Mm, I think I prefer just not to... You know, lick it down there. Lick what? Um, Y'all funny. <sighs> Just reading your comments. I, this shaver's been right here. I don't know why this is. I think I packed this on a trip and I set this on my vanity, by the way. So, um... And it just feels really comfortable being in my hand. Okay. Anyway, so just, you know, thought I'd come on here, share with you guys my face products, which is the hardest working collection. This is why I came onto this live. Share with you how I use it in my hair and both on my skin and my face, hair, all that. Um... But I was not planning on staying on here. I think I'm hungry. I think I want to go eat my Subway sandwich or my fucking firehouse sub. Um, 
But it was cool because I haven't done a live in a minute. I've been on here like, shit, I used to be on here all the time. I haven't been on here at all. Um, but it's cool to be able to talk to you guys, answer your questions, and yeah, reconnect, guys. So, yeah, go get Hardest Working Collection. <clears throat> woo wop, da bam, woo wop, da bam. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Tag me in it. Uh, send me a DM, tell me what you think, um, and you can thank me later. But yeah, look at this face. I'm so smooth. And I'm about to start my period. So you can kind of see I'm getting a pimple here, but most, but a lot of the times, like I'm breaking out a lot more than this. I just feel like it's making my skin way more like clear. All right, guys.